In this video, I'm going to show you how to get Gravis Ultrasound working in DOSBox. The Gravis Ultrasound was an advanced wavetable synthesis card released in 1992. It could load sets of samples into its RAM, thus allowing almost any kind of music to be played with it. However, it didn't have a Sound Blaster OPL chip in it, and so the only way to use FM synthesis was to either also have a Sound Blaster card, or to run an emulator that used processor cycles and RAM in an era when both were scarce. First, you should search for DOSBox Gravis Ultrasound and follow the link to the DOSBox wiki. Then, click the link to Huggy Baby's ready to use DOSBox Ultrasound folders. This page has a link to download the driver folders. Extract that into your DOSBox virtual hard drive folder. There's a 411 directory and a PPL161 directory. If you want to use the official patches, rename the 411 directory to Ultrasound. Click on Gus. Click on Activate. Go into your sound setup. Then select the Gravis Ultrasound option. As you heard, the sound quality isn't as good as what you can get with general MIDI and sound fonts. On my computer, at least, the sound is a little choppy. Additionally, as a wavetable synthesis card, the ultrasound could be loaded up with other sound patch sets. If you want to use the Pro Patch Light patches, just rename the PPL161 directory like this.
And that's it for this video series. There are other sound options like Tandy Sound System and Disney Sound Source, but those should be set up by default in DOSBox. Try them if you can't use the options mentioned in these videos. See you next time!